So it is Wednesday and I've just completed our first pre-wash. So I've only done the white bits. So I've done his mane, forelock, his white legs and his tail. His mane is obviously still wet, um, but his tail's drying nicely. Um, obviously a bit of staining on the back, but I tomorrow I've got the day off. So I will be bringing up all of my whitening stuff and all that malarkey. I've only got my basic stuff up here. Um, and we'll be giving him a good scrub tomorrow, but I'm really chuffed with how he's behaved because if you have followed our journey, you will know he's been a pain in the ass to clean. So what we've just done is a humongous achievement for us. It's the easiest he's ever been. But I have also been cheeky and I went and bought some haylage because they get haylage sometimes when they go to shows. Um, basically when I want them to be a bit more quiet. So I'm not sure if maybe that's the answer. I have obviously mixed it with hay because um, I know it is richer um, and I don't want him to get an upset stomach but I think that might be the answer. <laughs> You've been a very good boy haven't you eh? Hey? Hey. So it is the morning before the show and the day after our first clean. I think he still looks quite clean actually so quite pleased with that. So they're coming in today, chilling out this morning, and then we are going to do another clean later. So, as I'm leaving Nico out tonight, um, I'm going to go and get him ready in a bit. Um, you might think it's a bit nuts leaving out before a show, but actually, in my opinion, I think it's much easier to get like mud and grass stains off than it is to get poo stains off. So what I am currently doing is sewing up some old like fly wraps that I've got because I thought I would put these on um, and then hopefully preserve his legs a little bit because I don't want to bandage them up because I'm going to chalk paste his legs in the morning and bandage them up for the ride there. Um, so I don't want his legs to be bandaged for that length of time, um, like from today. I'm just about to stab myself. Um, so the good thing about these are they are breathable. So I can kind of cover them whilst you know, not worrying about his legs, um, not getting any ventilation. However, the reason that I'm sewing them is because I did put them on last year for Royal Cornwall Show. And true to his character, being a Welsh, he <laughs> did rip them off. Um, so particularly this one, which he ripped off and ripped to pieces. So I'm just trying to sew the Velcro back on, basically. I mean, it's not going to be world class sewing, let's face it. But my attempt, and an att attempt is better than zero attempt. Um, yeah, I'm not doing a particularly good job, if I'm honest. But I mean, look what I'm working with. Let me just get this through. So. They're only like Shia's arms boots. So he's kind of ripped this bit here. So there is this bit and he's ripped this clean off. Actually all three, there are three. So I've already done that one, this one. And then there's another one which will go here. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they'll stay on, but like I say, it's better than nothing. <laughs> so I've just given him a all over body bath with the Supreme Products Palomino shampoo. Obviously he didn't use it on his white bits. Um, and I think it's actually worked. Like, I think it has brought out his Palomino a bit. Also, I think it helped get some of that winter coat out that I couldn't get. You looking good. Um, so I'm now just going to chalk paste his socks. I've put a bit of chalk in his tail, as you can probably see. Um, I've put a bit in his mane, but his mane is sopping wet at the moment. Uh, he was quite good. I mean, he did get in a bit of a strop. 
when we did his body. But um, he's much better than he normally is, so. You've been a good boy, haven't you? You are looking handsome. You are. Well, I think you're number one. Well, not when you're being a little shit, but <laughs> the rest of the time I think you're number one. Good boy. Lexi never helps either. She's always like trying to eat him. Anyway, now to paste the legs. Mm. It's like white hair gel for horses. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I probably shouldn't do that. Right. Right, legs have been pasted, as you can see. They are quite a lot whiter now, although they do go like a bit of a horrible like grey colour initially. But um not too worried about that because obviously we're gonna attend to those again. Mane's been chalked, tail's been chalked, there's little pladding. I do like them to have a flat, but you don't have to. So yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. Uh not sure where this one has come from. My suspicion is probably from no names. Um, but this one was already here, so, oh well, gotta let them be horses. Lucy, I hope you're proud of this tail. Oh, look how white his mane looks. I think I've done a pretty good job. I'm pleased with it anyway. <laughs> Just don't look too closely. Good boy. Oh, we're gonna witch. Oh, that's cool. Right. This is where we stop filming. Oh, monkey. <laughs> oh boy. I'm getting bored. Yes. Oh, you look handsome. You do. Oh, you're so pretty. Good boy. You just put some more straw down so that you don't get your legs muddy in between coming back in and turn out. Pray for him to stay clean. He definitely looks darker. Supreme Products Palomino Shampoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quite like that that um, rug's got straps mm. around his back legs as well, hopefully. Keep him a bit cleaner. <laughs> Busted. I saw you. Now, I'd say this has been quite successful because he's still got his rug on and he's still got four boots on. We shall see. Absolute perfect placement. He's in that stable there. Ideal location. He's eating chaff. He doesn't care. Just having a bit of a chill. We've got about an hour and a half before our class, our ring even starts. So there's two classes in our ring for mine. But quite pleased to travel the world. It's quite chilled. This table looks very severe, doesn't it? It's a bit muddy. Yeah, you can see in this one it's really pitched up. And obviously we've got white suckies. But we've got lots and lots of straw down. Oh, that was silly. <laughs> top groom. Say hi, top groom. Oh, no, not again. Make sure you get the t shirt. <laughs> top groom. He actually Hello. looks very golden in the camera. Okay. He actually looks quite golden in the camera. Please don't dig that up. Okay. I'm trying to see the whiteness. From white stuff. <laughs> Weird having a green though, because I'm like, get to a point and I'm like, I've got nothing to do now. <laughs> that's good, because that's your time to relax. Uh, I love it, I do. Okay. Team team. <laughs> Nico's like, I'm a part of this team. Oh, we're being through Welsh today. So exciting. <laughs> Dad, she's running. She nearly wrote me into it. <laughs> Come on, run. 
Young Forest. Hey, good boy, good boy, good boy. So I thought I would just leave some of that commentary in, especially my part at the beginning about him being a fiery Welsh. You know, he wasn't fiery. Um, but in all fairness, he is very sane and sensible when we go to shows. So, I mean, he wasn't bad by any means, but that is kind of the most Welshy he's ever been in a show. Um, but yeah, he wasn't bad by any means. I was super, super nervous about the show. I was literally doing everything I could to get out of it. To the extent I even emailed my instructor and was like, am I being considerate or am I just being a wimp? Um, and she more or less told me I was being a wimp. <laughs> um, so I tried to get out of it, but nobody would let me. Um, I think it was mainly the travelling that I was nervous about. As you all know, Ellie has not been the best traveller um, in her lifetime since I've had her, since 13 months old. Um, and I think I'm a little bit scarred by that fact. So it's a bit of a learning curve with Nico because actually he doesn't mind being in a trailer and he's quite happy. Um, and that was clearly evident. This is the longest trip he's done. So it was about an hour and 45 minutes, two hours in the trailer from start to finish. Um, his first time out of the county. And quite frankly, he didn't care. He hadn't sweated up. He wasn't stressed or anything. He was just cool as a cucumber, really. Um, and that pretty much carried on in the show. He was in a stable on his own. Like the whole block was empty apart from him. Didn't care. Horses were coming and going. He didn't care. Um, and in the ring, apart from that little spicy bit at the beginning, which wasn't really that bad, he was a superstar. I was really chuffed with how he behaved. Um, it's a shame about the ground. It was a bit sticky. Um, I thought he trotted quite well considering. Um, and I was pretty, pretty pleased with how we went. I know that he's not an in-hand Welsh type. So I have done the classes for the experience. Um, so, you know, I knew we weren't going to come in the top three. My preference out of the top three was actually the one that came third, which just proves that actually my preference to Welshes are the ridden type because the first two, in my opinion, wouldn't be the sort of ridden type I'd want to ride. Um, but it's all good experience and eventually one day I want to do side saddle with him um, and to be able to do that I do need him to be sane at a show. Um, so this is all a good experience for him um, and I thought he looked absolutely pucker. Um, so yeah, it was good fun and it was great having my dream team there to help as well. Um, and it's always a bonus when you get a frilly. So this is part of the dream team, of the brute team. We have Steve, number one dog walker. Whoop. We've been pushed out the way by whoa, number one lead rein runner thingy. Then we have chief photographer of Ben. Yeah, this, this is the brutesy team. We have just got home and someone has been very, very good, haven't they? Yeah. Your makeup's all run though, isn't it? Yeah, your makeup is all run. Good boy. Oh, look at it. <laughs> you've been excellent, haven't you? Yeah. You've travelled like a diamond and you've been a brilliant boy. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. now. <laughs> Didn't give him that before the class. <laughs> Look at his nose. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Good boy. I just whacked all over the trailer actually. Oh he literally is wiping it on the trailer. Yeah. I see, back to normal. Ah, I've been on an adventure. Good 
Boy. Oh, been on it. Oh, no, I don't want to get no flower. No. Come on, then. Moody's <laughs> <laughs> ever. So what's next for Nico? Basically, I have done all the Welsh in hand showing that I want to do with him. It's served its purpose. I'm not really into it. Um, so now we are just going to focus on doing some fun shows to just keep giving him that experience. But more importantly, backing and bringing him on. Um, so watch this space. See how we get on.